What's up everybody, it's your boy Clark here and I'm in North York today near Young and Fitch and I'm gonna be throwing down with some Chinese comfort food. We're doing dumplings in soup as well as some dumplings with soup in them. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. So please come and join me, it's time to get fit. Sangji Fried Bao is my go-to spot in North York when I'm craving a plump and juicy fried soup dumpling. But that's not all they got, there's more great Shanghainese eats too, and almost all the menu items are under $10. But remember to plan ahead, they only accept cash or debit. The dining area is really nice too, especially with this great wall art, and is perfect on a cold chilly day. My preference when I'm on my own is to sit by the kitchen and watch them skillfully hand make the soup dumplings before they go off to get pan fried till they get a nice golden and crispy bottom. Here they're serving up one of my favorite Shanghai street food items. These soup dumplings right here. So these pan fried bounty are super popular as a breakfast item, street food item, pretty much you can have them anytime, anywhere. These are absolutely awesome. So unlike the classic Xiaolong Bao, which is a steamed one, you know, you get in those little like uh, bamboo steamers, these ones are pan fried. So you can see on there, it's nice and crispy on the bottom, but you still got that chewy dumpling wrapping on the top with a little bit of chive and some sesame sprinkled on there. Now, these can be pretty hot, so you gotta be careful when you eat them. I think the thing to do is to take a bite from the chewy dumpling wrapper and then suck out the soup that's inside that's nice and warm. Mm. Ooh, that is that is really warm. Ooh. So I got that little bite right there, sucked out the soup. Oh, you can see it dripping out. All right, now that I've sucked up the soup, let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. Looks like I still could have sucked out more of the soup. Mm. But you can see on there, there's that nice pork filling. Oh, it's just bursting with flavor. So the way they get the soup in that dumpling, The texture of that semi-glutinous dumpling wrapper, crispy on the bottom, a bit more toothy and chewy at the top part. Mmm. Good flavor. So you're probably wondering how they get the soup in these dumplings, right? The way they do it is they make the soup in a gelatinous form, and then they mix it with the pork filling. And so what happens is when they steam these up and then pan fry them, the gelatinous part of the soup just melts and becomes this nice, savory, soupy, delicious broth inside the dumpling. All right, same strat though. You bite the top, suck out the juice, and then enjoy the dumpling after it's cooled down a bit. Oh, that is amazing. Bursting with that curry broth. There you go, you can see that beefy filling on the inside. Mm. So the wontons here, they're pork filled. Sometimes you'll find them with pork and shrimp as well. But these ones, these ones are the pork filled ones. It's a bit more wrapping in this case. And the wrapping is a little bit more delicate and you've got the meat inside there. Mm. Nice clean taste. Mm. All right, let's just give that broth a taste now. Mm. Nice and clean, a little bit of oil in there to give it some flavor. And I love just how aromatic it is with the greens. Mm. I like having that, that uh, cilantro in there. Mm. Today's a perfect day to be having this kind of Chinese comfort food. You know, having those dumplings with the soup that's piping hot inside them, as well as these wontons, these dumplings in the soup. 
the weather these last couple of days have been absolutely dreadful. Cold and wet. Comfort food like this really does heal the soul. Mm. <laughs> if you want, it's totally not necessary, but you do have the option to kick up the flavor a little bit with the chili oil that they have here at the table. just to add a little bit of heat. Like it's not it's not crazy spicy or anything like that. Just gives it that extra kick. And with that last bite of wonton, we come to the saddest part of the video when all the food is gone. But no worries, we've got lots more in store for you guys. Before I go though, I do want to take a second just to say a huge thank you to the folks here at Sangji Fried Bao, and a big thank you to you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, help me out, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share this video with family and friends. And if it's your first time here and you want to see more content like this, where I feature great food spots in and around Toronto and the surrounding area, or you just want to see all sorts of different diverse food cultures, then make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Catch you in the next video when I get food.